The sad part about it is we should in fact have supplemental money set aside for those particular issues where there's medication that someone needs to have life-saving medication. That is government's role, that's their responsibility. So, you know, yes, we fix roads, we fix schools, all that stuff, but you have to have medicine for those people who don't have it. You can't just stand aside and say Medicaid didn't fund the full amount. That, that don't make any sense. So we have to reprioritize the way we spend our money. The Virgin Islands have not been very good at money management. We know this for a fact. And I say this because if I give you $100 and I have $100 and I say, let's see how far we could stretch this $100. Because of my financial background, I'm pretty certain that I could get more out of my $100 than a typical person can. Because good example, I had a friend who was working and her coworker asked her for some money because she didn't have enough money to make it through payday on Friday and this was on a Wednesday. And she gave the coworker a $20 bill. That coworker came back with lunch, bought a pot fish lunch for $20. Knowing that there's no more money the next day or the next day until payday. But she went out and bought a pot fish lunch instead of going to the store, the grocery store, buy some bread, cheese, whatever, and put something, something together for the next few days. That's what you would do if you wanted to stretch that money. But because there's no planning in place, no sense of prioritizing expenses, she just blew the $20 the same day. So lunch was had and then she's back where she started. The Virgin Islands government does that. Same issue, they just spend. We need to get back to where we really stretch these dollars, not because we get federal dollars, all these appropriation every year means that we could just blow it. Blow it wisely. And we haven't been doing that. And that's something I'm gonna hold um, the government to with my colleagues. We're gonna make sure that we go and reprioritize the way monies are spent because we're not spending the money in the, the most efficient way we can.